You are listening to the Kentucky X Files with hosts Dennis Mays, Tyler Stewart, and Josh Gibbs. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts so you never miss an episode. Now, on to our show. Something that would be in the context of the what supernatural. What he described as being a gray, silver-looking, upright, bipedal creature dragging a deer out of that cave to one of the hillbillies. Hey, I got a question for you. Do you believe in demons? And it takes one big step and vanishes. I'm like, oh my god, that was a big step. And look at these pictures of this, this white creature. Something seven foot three to eight foot tall. Right. That let's say it like. Now, to me right now, if this was a bear, then this bear was standing on his hind legs and he was running like a man. No, this was no bear. Now, when it stood up, that's when I knew it was a dog man. Welcome back, guys, to the season season one finale. Season one finale. Season one finale! Of the the Kentucky X Files. It's been a long year. Ah! I don't know why. we We can't finish it without that. Yep. I can't believe we made it. We survived. You know, Paula Green says, "What's up, guys? One in East Tennessee here." Hell yeah! Welcome, yeah. welcome to the show. We are recording the episode for Monday, and you're you're on it with us because yeah. we're you know if you have questions or things you want to add to it, hit us. Even if it's uh, makes us look dumb, yeah, that's okay too. We're good at that. We are very good at that. Should have seen us trying to set a live up. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. <laughs> I love how you keep bringing us into this. Well, that's we're, your we're iPhone. A, we're a team. This is a team. <laughs> this is a team. We one, are a team. One fails, we all fail. That's yep. it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. A year. They said that most podcasts fizzle out within a couple months. I think ours is fizzling over years. <laughs> <laughs> fizzling over years? <laughs> We're a nice slow well, you, burn. you've always put it this like, when we get something, <coughs> when we do something, we always we, we beat it to the ground. Like hey, we just beat d- a dead horse. Dumpster fires are hard to put out. That is true. That's fair point. But we're, I feel like we're just so stubborn that we're just ne- we're not giving up. No, never give up. Never give up. Ever. No. Plus, all these people keep encouraging us. Yeah. Yeah. And so this is technically your guys' fault, really. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> but okay. If you didn't encourage us, we would have just laid down somewhere. Let's uh <laughs> let's take a little hiatus on making fun of ourselves. Yeah. It's so, a good idea. Let's what like what are we what are we going to talk about, guys? Like I, I feel like we said that we wanna We have a whole year of stuff. Yeah. Travis! Oh my god! Travis, what's up? He's here. Travis made it. Now, God dang it, you scared the crap I'm out of me with sorry. that. This, I forgot the mic is still up loud there. That's that's my fault. <laughs> You're like, Travis, Travis, we're coming to your house, Travis. No, we're not. Do we're me not. a favor, Tyler. All hit, this, hit start the timer. We didn't. We never started the timer. Oh, we didn't start. We always start a timer to kind of stop us from rambling, rambling for hours. Hello from Mansfield, Ohio, Jimmy Roger Ruger, Ruger, Ruger. That's my fault. Roger. Roger. Jimmy Root. Well, that's Ruger's a lot cooler. Yeah, it's a lot cooler. That's a lot cooler, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. Big fan of Ruger's. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I think we have a whole year of stuff that we've, we've you know, people we've talked to, mm-hmm. things we looked into, stuff we've debunked. Yeah. Some stuff that we weren't real sure about. <laughs> some stuff I'm still like, holy crap, what did I just look at? And I think we got to the bottom of the, the, you the know, hand? The, the hand thing. I feel like we we got that one in the yeah, bag. We nailed yeah. that one for yeah, sure. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was definitely some some. So like, somebody okay, who rying us? Let's uh, throw this out. Like, hey, what what is your guys' favorite episode? Oh 
Uh, I, I'll throw that out there. Um, you guys too. What's your favorite? Episode? Yeah, yeah. Put it You're, in. The... We can literally see you on the screen right here talking to us. So I, I would, you know, uh, I'm going to say the Sea Monster episode. The sea Monster, and, and it's just because of the amount of fun we had at the end of it. Marinara, marinara. <laughs> oh my god, that was bull crap. <laughs> I I feel like everybody in this chat is going to say that's bull crap. <laughs> I, well, I had a lot of fun. You guys were heckling me the whole time <laughs> with that dang crap. <laughs> it was, it was can, done out of love. Can you yeah. guys hear us pretty good? Because we do have the phone a long way away from us. Yeah. Did you watch the 168 Hours documentary? I started it, and I fell asleep. But I did start it. And I do have it saved, and I am digging into it. So far, it's pretty, pretty damn interesting. And the one that I found was... Through 168 hours. <laughs> what, cha- what website were you on? It was the, the Bollywood thing. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> that, that, I've saved that screenshot oh. that I took from that. At first, I thought you were you actually watched that, uh, what was uh, James Franco's movie, uh, 172 Hours? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah no, I forgot was, about that one. No, it was, it was a Bollywood movie, but the, the, the main like uh, screen of the like their, I guess their ad for it, the, the look on this woman's face... It gets funnier the more you zoom in on it, and I kept zooming in and <laughs> sending, kept sending it to me. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, my favorite episode that we did over the year, yeah, is Sweet Candace. Yeah, sweet, sweet Candace. I I, I, I don't know if she's gonna be on the on the chat tonight. I hope she shows up. But yeah, I loved Candace's episode because yeah, that was a good one. It was. It kept me locked in. Mm-hmm. I was locked into it, and she I had, couldn't. I couldn't like. I couldn't be into it enough. Like I, I was, you know. If you guys actually watch that, uh, like listen to that episode, not watch my bed. That's next season watching. <laughs> but yeah, her episode, like she had so much stuff going on in that area. Yeah. I yeah, it was it was a lot of activity, you know, and it and she was she didn't let mm-hmm. any detail go either yeah the slightest little thing that was off to her she was throwing it in there and it just gave me like uh, personally mm-hmm. just a, a field day of like okay well what was this you know how does that relate to that and i've heard of this over here with this other you know story so it was it was fun you know and and it, but later on we lost mm-hmm. track of her yeah because we were yeah. touching base with her to keep up with her you know and and then Literally, like, at first it started with, uh, I'm like, I'm telling Tyler, I'm like, do you know, I sent Candace a couple messages. And yeah. I'm like, I'm not getting nothing back. And then all of her stuff was gone completely. Yeah. And then I'm like, I came okay, to you and I'm like, is, this is weird. okay, I don't know what to think yet, but she's completely gone. Like, I, she's not there. She's not responding. And then... We started like putting messages out on Facebook, and we're like, we basically were putting her face on milk cartons at that point. <laughs> and then uh, finally, she got back to me, and uh, I'm like, "Oh my God, Candace, we were so worried. <laughs> like, yeah, you're okay. We thought a dog man got you. You know what I mean? It was like, cause she just gone. Yeah, like I remember you saying like there was no trace of her, like cause you said that she contacted you on Facebook. Yeah. And her Facebook was gone, everything. And then you said, like, yeah, you were saying about the whole uh, messages being deleted. Yeah, the YouTube messages getting deleted and all that. Oh, no, I meant your messages from Candace. Oh, yeah, yeah. Emails, my bad. Oh, yeah, my bad. Oh, yeah. They, they, were, they were going to nowhere. Well, the show so. disappeared shortly after that, too, didn't it? What's that? Didn't the show disappear off Spotify? Yeah, it did. It was, yeah. like, it was pulled off of Spotify for, for like, a week or something for... For something yeah. like I, I think, oh, it was because I uploaded the mm-hmm. theme song to the thing, oh, and then okay. oh yeah, that's right, I, I got a copyright strike against myself, and it was your song, you wrote it. So I'm like, okay, that's that's <laughs> yeah. you know, but yeah, what's Travis saying here? It's hard for me to pick one. I really liked the episode where Denny told his story. Candace's episode, episode was great, and the two episodes with Lee. Yeah, absolutely, oh, Lee. Yeah. Thank you, Travis. That was actually I was just about to say that. My favorite one episode was Denny's story. I just feel like it, it brought this together because yeah. his experience, even though that you didn't have like an actual sighting, yeah. but that's that it kicked it off for it me. It kicked it off for yeah. you, and I feel like it, it's it's the root of this whole podcast. Like Twenty years of wondering what the hell, 
again, like then, I feel like you know, that's that kind of getting in the way you're you're helping everybody out to just let it out, just talk about it, yeah. because you don't want to be sitting there for twenty years wondering what the heck that sound. At least give yourself your mind some peace. Like at least go through it or talk to somebody about. You it. Hear something, you know, really strange, you know, out of nowhere, scares the hell out of you, mm-hmm. and then. It's like the very next, you know, for that whole night, you're, you're creeped out. I got a friend there with me. He's creeped out. We're both freaking out, you know. And then the next day, it's like you sleep it off. The next day, it slowly starts kind of not being real. Yeah. And then later on, it comes back around. And, you know, out of nowhere, you just, you just, for me, it was, I, I'd just be, you know, messing around on the internet or anything. And I just could, I could almost hear that sound. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. like like in the back of my head, and then I got on this quest where I'm like, I want to go online and I want to try to find what animal made this. Yeah, right. and you know, I know for at least eleven years or more, I searched, and I I was not looking for Bigfoot or Dogman or yeah. cryptids. I was not looking for. I was looking for like mountain lions and screech owls and and you know birds you know what i mean right because i don't know if you guys know this but i have roosters on the farm Mm -hmm. and they make one of the most horrendous sounds out of nowhere in the middle of the black like i mean pitch (laughs) black outside and i have roosters all over they they roost wherever they want and they're you know and i'm walking to my car and i hear (laughs) and i'm like Okay, <laughs> that scared me. That's a rooster, and he's he's one dead son of a bitch. If I find him, <laughs> he catches me on the wrong morning, and we're having rooster for dinner that night. Yeah, but it was over and over again. I'm looking and I'm looking and I'm looking, and I'm not finding a sound that even remotely sounded like what I, what I was looking for until I landed on Thinker Thunker yep. that day and press play. He's like, you know, he does his like, oh, this thing or thing, you know, and he yeah. does his whole thing, and then he's got some sounds, and he presses play, and I hear the sound, and I'm like, wait a second, uh, what? You know, the, this dude's a Bigfoot researcher, you know what I mean? Yeah. So contrary to belief, before this little show, wasn't really into Bigfoot at all. Not wasn't really into any of it. Not into you know, wasn't into Dog Man. Can confirm. Wasn't on to, you know, like, wasn't nothing, you know. I was like, yeah, you know, uh, it's whatever. Then that day happened, you know, and I found, and I heard the sound again, and then that kind of just spiraled me right down this rabbit hole where I'm like, mm-hmm. okay, so if if they're hearing the same sound that I heard, and they don't know what the hell it is. And then, and then you know, I, I found five or six others from different parts of the united states you know all the way up into canada i mean just the the distances was nuts Mm -hmm. same sound same screaming sound i'm like okay for one what animal makes this sound that lives in all these places you know what i mean so it was yeah yeah, my, sorry about that, Travis. Didn't mean to t- tell you a book there, but <laughs> yeah. it literally was what started well, yeah, this. I, this I feel for like me. I kicked that off you know, right. there. It did, but uh, I, I feel like there's a. I, I That's my add... daughter, Waterlea. That's my daughter. Hi, Sam. <laughs> Sam was on the first episodes, first uh, like two or three episodes. Two, yeah, two episodes. She was on the first two. Yeah, she says she's sorry she's late. That's okay. We were, were late to our yeah, live, too. Yeah, so. we were late. <laughs> we were eight minutes late to our own live. We were late, and then we were more late because we couldn't get it to... You, live's hard. Yeah, live's is hard. Going live is hard. Yeah. yeah. But this is kind of a test run. You know, it's a test run. We're, maybe we'll, maybe <laughs> but, we can uh, do this more often. You know, I don't know. Maybe we'll get, get better at it. I don't know. Hopefully. <laughs> Julius Rodriguez, Big D in the gang. What's up, man? That's Frog. <laughs> Froge. <laughs> Froge, uh, Frog Squatch. Frog Squatch. Yeah, he's the one that uh, gave me the the cup. The uh, oh, yeah, nice. he that's, gave me the Squatch Lives Matter. That's awesome. sweet so, of him. He awesome. is. He's a sweet guy. Yeah, he's a sweet lad. I wish he was my son. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but yeah, there was a. No, I, the other day I told him that I I, w- I told Sam that I wish that Frog was my daughter. <laughs> she was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm just kidding. What uh? Have you noticed anything weird that's happened in this like first season? Like, like something that kind of like was a little off. Other than you had the deleting messages, and that was weird. I think we threw this out, uh, out a while back ago. Um, <laughs> I wish I was your daughter too. <laughs> there was a time we were talking about. Uh, we were talking to a guy. Uh, I think it. Um, it was around Cave Run. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. The and the phone thing. The phone kept cutting out, and that was. Weird. And remember, my phone he just said it. Yeah, he said there was drones going over his house, and. My phone, like randomly, normally a phone, when it says it wants to update, it'll tell you, like, or it'll give you a thing. It started to get burning hot. Yeah. And then it just randomly. Weird. Didn't it try to update on you? And then it updated, like, yeah. it, but never asked me, because normally it'll tell you, do you want to schedule a time? Yeah. But it just got burning hot and then just updated. And, I, like, you could say it's coincidence, but that was a weird coincidence. Right. Like, it was like, weird. The, like the timing. <laughs> that the, was uh, Kevin. I was just about uh, to say the that Kevin with Kevin, yeah, yeah, because he was friends with uh, what's his name, um, Josh, Josh uh, Grierson, Grierson, yep. Grierson, yeah. He's the truck driver, right? Yeah, he was. Yeah. I think he's. Uh, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I think he's moved over into working on trucks now. Oh, cool. So I think he. I don't know. I, don't, uh, I might be I, speaking out of turn. I, I don't know. Have you? But, uh, I, like, I haven't heard too much about like from him. Has he still been going out? I don't know. Uh, I used to. Uh, hey, that's the epic animator. That is my son. Nice. My wonderful son that has helped me debunk a lot of garbage. He is an animator, and if you want to see some mind-blowing stuff, definitely check out his channel. I don't know how he does it. He's so talented. Uh, I don't really know. I I really, like, he sits there and explains it to me, and I I don't get it. But I can show him any, you know, if it's it's been faked or or animated, he literally is like eagle eye. He can, like, ha, and picks it out in a heartbeat, and he'll show me why, you know. It's amazing. He's pretty good at helping old guys use Discord, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. he's really good at that. And, and, and Sam. Yeah, they both laughed at us hysterically yeah. for a while. They they laugh at me a lot at home, too. Yeah. When you guys aren't around, they pick on me I quite a bit. It. I believe that. That makes Travis sense. Travis says, that is super weird. My phone always asks me before it will update. I have to be hooked up to the Wi-Fi. Yeah, yeah same here. Yeah. So, yeah, that was, like... I, it was out of nowhere. It was out of nowhere, and it was why we were talking... Because the phone was going in and out. Like, we had to call Kevin, like, six times. Yeah. And we had I had full reception, nothing. And this was the first time. I've We've called people a bunch of times all the time. We're like, not really good with phone calls on this show, though. <laughs> I just remembered. What? Okay. Well, okay. Did I do something? There's an episode that you guys never got to hear because... We could not make it audible for you guys. Oh, yeah. We talked to a guy who was, uh, I, I can't remember exactly what the organization is, and I, I don't want to, like, you know, make fun of it. It wasn't his fault, it just but was the ter- connection was so bad from his end that when we were talking to him, we're like, yeah, so, you know, you've been, you have a, a, a Sasquatch club that you're, you know, doing, and it was like, me and him literally looked at each other like (coughs) yeah yeah the bad part is is we went on with it we we toughed it out and went all the way to the end of this interview and then it was like two days later i'm trying to mix it to put it on the episode and i just like told him i'm like dude there's nothing i can do this is bad this is real real bad yeah so it's unfortunate because it, it, the dude's, you know, yeah, he had some good, interesting stuff, but you guys would have not been able to understand it. Yeah, it was just so bad. Like, thanks, Travis. Yeah, man, we appreciate it. Yeah, that's our that's our like warrior. Hell yeah, Travis. <laughs> Travis is, I think, seriously though, very first T-shirt made should yeah. go to Travis. I really feel that way. I feel like hundred percent. Yeah, you know, Kentucky X Files, and then Pluto. Like we stand with Pluto. I think he had super fan. Well, I was I actually had an idea for a shirt that literally said like Kentucky X Files plus Travis. You know what I mean? Like or nice. like we do like a family photo and 
we like. I'm not saying that we're like Facebook stalking him. <laughs> we're not allowed to say that on right. here, but we're uh, we're not. But we get a picture of him and we like superimpose him, like because he's our best friend. Right. I like it. Yeah, and then we go to his house and give mm-hmm. it to him. Yeah, for breakfast. One of these days, Travis, you just wait. No. Wait till the fans demand it. Right. I keep pushing it. No. One day the fans are going to be like, Travis, Travis. Travis. What's Hillbilly Darth Vader? I think that's what he was calling that, like what, how he was talking. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it was. <laughs> nice. It was like, it was either like, <clears throat> it was like a mixture between Darth Vader <laughs> and Bane. <laughs> and a, like a, it was like he was 20 feet away from the phone shouting at his phone with a, with one of those loud horns. I didn't care who I was until I put the phone on. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> you guys, you guys don't know Bigfoot. <laughs> I was born with him. Oh my you know God, what I mean? Like it was bad. A huge tangent. <laughs> it was so bad. I wish, I wish we could have used the episode. Like it would have been Yeah, great. like I, I can't. Yep, that's Cat. Yeah. Hi, Cat. Hello, Hi, my Kat. love. Wolf's Head Forging Farm is me and my wife's farm channel, which we've neglected terribly, mainly because I'm usually busy doing podcast stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, honey. <laughs> Sinner. Sinner. So, yeah. So, what else uh, you guys want to talk about? Like, have any other... What was <laughs> an, episode, an episode I enjoyed? Yeah, Victoria. Victoria wasn't that the one? Where, was that in her name? Victoria? Oh, maybe I'm bad with names. And if I got it wrong, I apologize. We recorded. It was a phone call with her. Yeah, and she was the one that had the. Um, she wouldn't even admit that it was a Bigfoot. She just said it was a big hairy oh, creature standing yeah. outside, scared her and her was kids. It, I thought it was Amy. No, it was started with a V. Uh, <laughs> Why are we, we are all terrible with names. Yeah, I want to say it's... Yeah, I know the one. Yeah. That was a good episode, though. Was it Victoria? Because, you know, it's, uh, I noticed while we were recording that, and she's telling us a story, is you guys usually don't get to see this part of it, is the dynamic in the room changes drastically, to, you know, as we're hearing someone's story. Yeah. And if we're not using the cameras, we don't turn all the lights on in the garage. So it was like a nice dark. Yeah, it was really story. dark, and we're sitting there listening, and she starts laying out her story, and we all are sitting there like, yeah, we just like kind of all went stone faced, and we're just looking at each other like, Jesus, you know. It was pretty. That was a pretty intense episode. That was like episode yeah. thirty eight, thirty nine, somewhere in that neck of the woods. Thirty eight and thirty nine, somewhere in that area. Yeah, probably. Any spoilers for season two? I can't wait for it. Ooh, for Travis, anything. Well, there's one major spoiler. Tyler lived. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is. Um, you know what? That's a good thing to bring up. The The last midweek, <laughs> <laughs> I want to sit here and tell you that that video was planned that way, but it, it wasn't. Uh, yep. There, there's something went wrong with the uh, the render, so when you guys see the end of that video, that's actually a mess up in the render. There's another half of that video that's going to be happening season two. So you get to see the rest of what happened to Tyler that night. It's terrible. Veronica? He, he almost, Veronica. Veronica story. See, I'm bad with names, but I knew it started Samsonite. with Samsonite. <laughs> right. I was way off. Cat, Cat says we're quiet. Yeah, well, it's coming through the phone. So I wonder if there was a way to like... USB from the phone to this. I wish there was. Because, I mean, you could plug your headphones in and use the thing on a headphone. Oh, yeah, you could put the... Do you have a widget? I don't... I'm not comfortable talking about my widget. That doesn't have an iPhone... uh, The headphone jack, I've got a widget. But how are we going to charge it? Are we allowed to talk about our widgets on on the internet? The widgets... they, They know what the widget is. It's for the iPhone. Whoa. Do you kiss your mom with that mouth? Yes. Change the title of the stream. What's the title of the stream? We're just lucky we got it to work. Oh. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> I don't want to touch it because I'm afraid I'm going to break the stream. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, they're just, it just says live. There's probably <laughs> like three of them or five There's of four. them. There's <laughs> four. Uh, the first one is, we're live. The second one is, okay, we're live for real this time. The next one says live. And the next one says live. 
<laughs> so you really you lied to them on the second one, <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just live. Yeah, Travis subscribed to the Farm Channel. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Oh, nice. Hopefully that one doesn't become Travis's new favorite and we lose him. Yeah. Oh man. But at least he will still be around. I have to sabotage the Farm Channel now, <laughs> so we don't lose Travis. This is live. You know your wife is on the... Oh, she is watching. <laughs> that was... <laughs> that was your jokes. That was a sound effect. That was, wasn't real. I was fooling y'all. <laughs> so, season two, spoilers. Wow. Well, Travis, I will say this. For season two, expect some on-location stuff. Yeah. Definitely expect some on-location stuff. Uh... We we want we've got a few places that we want to go and, and actually do a show from there. Um, I honestly I I kept thinking that we would take this setup and go out and set up our mics somewhere on location and and do the show. But the more I keep thinking about it, I keep thinking about taking this and setting it up and actually using it to just capture sounds around us while we're. You know, mm -hmm. maybe just talking to a camera or something different like that. You know what I mean? Just kind of keeping the, the this part of the podcast kind of anchored to, you know, the mics and mm -hmm. all that. You said anchored. I was just about to say that. <laughs> I'm in your F, uh, .fm. Anchor.fm. It's our sponsor. <laughs> on location. We were planning on, you know, uh, I, I know there's a few, like uh, the Naughty Pine Mm -hmm. uh, it's a restaurant up here on the Licking, and uh, I've actually talked to them a little bit about setting the show up in their place, some cameras, talking to a few of their employees as the night progresses, you know what I mean? Even having some food while we're there, maybe it, a few drinks, I don't know. Finally a place in Campbell County that's not Bobby Mackey's. Yeah, and then uh, I was thinking, uh, I, I've, I've, they're over in the Mount Zion area, uh, they they talk a lot about the the black triangle uh, UFO that people keep seeing. I kept thinking about places nearby. I started looking into Big Bone Lick a little bit. Yeah. So I thought, hey, why not take the show over to Big Bone? You're gonna get us demonetized. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Big Widget Lick. Uh, I feel like that would get us one demonetized. <laughs> people know where widgets are. You guys told me that. <laughs> so. I am sorry, guys. I keep kicking the they, table. They can't hear that. That's only... Well, I think they can still hear the... Oh. Yeah, it's like a bass drum. But yeah, so I, I wanted to go there, maybe do some snooping around there. Uh, I, I just found out something interesting mm -hmm. recently. Uh, I didn't know this, but the, the location of the Beverly Hills uh, fire has been flattened, and they're developing... Uh, like something up there mm -hmm. and that is really interesting to me because i mean that's like that's like asking for for some kind of ghost stuff to I mean, happen isn't there an entire movie based on that premise yeah poltergeist or something and that one that's kind of yeah where they, the same they thing. built yeah they, <laughs> they, they built on top of a, a burial ground yeah, burial ground, native yeah. american burial ground or something yeah which is i mean honestly it's like why would you do that you know right. that's the first thing i ask whenever i'm looking at properties is there any burial grounds here that I need to know about? I tell you what we can hear. Tyler vaping. <laughs> not the only one vaping. Dude, you know what, though? That was one of our favorite comments ever. Popcorn lung. <laughs> I'm, I'm I guess, not. you know, the, I, honestly, it's like these folks that are here supporting are, are awesome. And I don't think we should have a divide between you. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do the Denny thing. I'm going to tell you the whole thing. Somebody had sent in a, a thing telling us their story. They mentioned something about the eyes that they saw. He made a comment not directed at this guy at all. He made a comment saying that most animals that have that kind of eye is a small what feline it, it's in it, no, reptiles fail. it's just anything that's hunting right. and, and tall grass that's low to the ground because yeah. the eye works better now but that's a physics there a physical... when you said that yeah was that a direct insult to this person no <laughs> no but 
as it progressed, they there was some there were some some fires, some shots fired back, and we were literally like, "What? Why? <laughs> we're not saying that that's you know, we're not saying that's what you saw. We're saying that that's you know that's something that happens. You know, it's yeah, it's it's nature. It's, what what the guy saw was a lot bigger, and we acknowledged that in the you know in the reading of the story, but. It was it was kind of taken wrong, and it just seemed like we were just slowly getting negative comments from this person, and and we were like, man, you know, that he really took this personal. We we weren't making fun of him. It just kind of happened. I, I you know? literally had just watched like an hour long documentary on eyes on popcorn lung <laughs> and the shape of them and why they work the way they do. <laughs> <laughs> so it was it was fresh in my head. So yeah. So I, I've got uh, comments about me smoking, uh, vaping, all this. It's our show, you know. It's we're not putting on a, a production. It's we're literally sitting here hanging out, talking about the stuff that we find interesting, and we're inviting you along. You know, it, it was, I mean, in all honesty, it's not like we're actually there smoking up your living room. You know what I mean? We're we're safe. You're good. You know, guy got butt hurt for no reason. Hey man, you you kind of called it out there. I'm, you know, I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> but we were we were ready for that. Like it's whatever, man. Oh, yeah. you can't please everybody. Yeah, you can't please everybody. And I know that for one thing too, I know we probably said some type of wrong fact in this podcast. Oh god, yeah. We, like I feel like this podcast is not I want to say it's 50-50 factual because some of it is i feel like the majority of this show is us speculating well it's the same as any like any conversation for anything we've talked about yeah we always do the thing where we're like oh you know uh you remember that thing that happened yeah. it was like 10 years ago and then he'll be like that was like eight years ago and then we'll later on yeah t- tomorrow we'll be like it was two years ago <laughs> yeah, yeah it then, wasn't that long ago that's literally what our show is made of right you know so we it, read stuff we watch stuff it's interesting we talk about it it's kind of like I feel like we always say this in the podcast and we've heard it so many times we we act like we're just talking at work or something with a bunch of guys on break pretty much yeah so in a way just literally think that's how this podcast is is that you like when you're talking to a guys at break do you have every single facts in your pocket on whatever your guys are going to talk about i have a little guy that yeah he, he comes out of my pocket and he's he a, fact checks everything yeah, i do checks, yeah. but he gets mad when i smoke is it like a little paper clip <laughs> no it's a little it's a actual little guy <laughs> little dude. He looks like a figurine. Is that like from the what was it? Indian in the cupboard paper clip. I just see a little guy popping out like you're about to talk some bullshit. Would you like some help? <laughs> He's like pulls out his little paper, starts flipping through. Nope. Happened in 1902. Well, as is tradition on our show, why don't you pour us around, Tyler? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the other part of the tradition. So. But yeah, Travis, you're absolutely right. He got, he got butt hurt. I, I think for no reason. But like I said, I think it's it's kind of hard to uh, it, it's hard, it's difficult to have a two way conversation from emails to the show. You know, especially when we respond to your emails on the show, it's it's hard for someone to interject and be like, no, 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 it wasn't that. You know, it was a lot bigger. You know, so it's there's a lot of delay and and you know. We lose a little translation there, but right. most of the folks I think that support our show know that we're, you know, we our intentions are good at heart. I mean, we're not. I have, I mean, I, I have talked shit about Vic kind of a, a little bit. Yeah, we're not trying to intentionally give you false information. It's just a lot of our stuff is more speculation because we're. It'd be funny if he just started drinking all three of them. <laughs> right. <laughs> we're just. <laughs> I would have probably died. <laughs> right, he just starts he just drinks, back. drinks all three of them, puts like, it all away, and I'm not, ah! even, not even talking to you guys. And to season one, guys. Mm-hmm. Season one. To you guys too. Into a good season too. Thanks, buddy. Oh, it's awesome. So good. I wish you guys could taste that meat. Taste that meat. Taste that meat. It's delicious. But uh, I I did I talked a little shit about 
about Vic. I There's, feel like it, it was about it was bound to happen because just couldn't freaking bite my tongue anymore. I know what I really kind of want to uh, bring this up. I hate the drama that is in these cryptid shows, man. Oh, I yeah. don't want to throw like I'm not going to throw us in there if any of the other cryptid shows. <laughs> <laughs> My wife said, great, I have to come pick you up now. <laughs> I'm good. It's only 13%. Yeah, it's Yeah, nothing. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're fine. But yeah, like, I don't want, like, if I'll just take any the of the... Home. <laughs> <laughs> if any other, other cryptid shows get butthurt about this, I, I just hate that the drama that was spooled up, especially with Vic, Dark Waters. Oh, yeah. And what's the other one? I still think they're friends. I, I yeah. I think it's, they're it's, friends. I think they're friends. That's a, they're, that's they're, that's for the, like the conspiracy got people. Yeah. Like one but, day we're gonna have to have some conspiracy episodes because I I think it'd be fun to to dive into some mm-hmm. of these. Yeah. Now I, literally though, like I have this little thing that goes it, when when a pattern doesn't seem right or something's off, it's like a little spider sense that just starts going going to town. And uh, I try to I listen to. What do you think, Ty? I mean, at least a couple hundred of the the Dogman encounters. Yeah, thanks, I, Tyler. Or Travis. Travis. <laughs> my, my name is Tyler. Yeah, I told you I'm bad with names. Thank you, Tyler. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, there's like a kind of setting off my 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 spider sense a little bit, and yeah. little details started to kind of not match up with with you know, if you talk to someone who's, you know, had an encounter with a Dogman. Mm-hmm. You get a much different story than that whole channel. Now, all I could think of was one of two things. One, because the narratives are so similar, somebody's writing them, I don't know. Or two, he's weeding through mm-hmm. all of the emails and stories and getting the ones that fit with the narrative that he wants to put out. And but no. the channel's really successful, successful so... You know, there was one thing that do, I thought, I uh, like, I, I feel like this is, we allow anybody has any type of encounter, if it was a sighting, a sound, yeah, whatever, we allow you on this podcast to tell your story. If you're lying to us, that's on you. That's not on us. Yeah. And it's for the viewers to give your assumption, like, do you think sure. they're lying or not? But I'm hearing other uh, other cryptid shows. They put people through rigorous, like, background, basically background checks to see if they're good to talk to, yeah, like, they can like actually... The, how they're going to, how yeah, their how audience will respond And to their it. story, if it's actually, they they have to believe that the story is real or something like that. I don't, like, how you could be passing over just because this person can't explain it well or something like because come on it was a traumatizing experience for them to have that so sometimes they'll get tongue-tied yeah and you're gonna dismiss it just because of just that or something like so i feel like when people put too much on those i feel like they're trying to control a narrative absolutely and Uh, and it's bullshit that's the thing that that i I like about how real we are Mm -hmm. is because you know People don't always recount everything that happened oh, perfectly. Yeah. They're going to get things mixed up. They're going to get stuff in their own story screwed up, timelines or whatever. Just like know? I was saying, like because they're yeah. distraught. Yeah. Stuff stuff goes wrong. Um, season two spoiler: Sandra has written again. Nice. Okay. Cool. 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 That's, I think I feel like that's a good spoiler. Yeah. I don't. Even, these guys don't even know that. I just learned that. <laughs> I just found that today. So, Sandra did write back, and she has kind of explained what she meant. So, it's... Oh, cool. Okay, cool. cool. It's very, okay, I, was, good. I was a little relieved, you know. Okay, that's awesome. I figured awesome. season two, you know, we'll, we'll, dive we'll into throw that. that out there. And, uh, that's we awesome. We all learned that together. Yeah. I found that out before I came here tonight, so that's pretty cool. But, but Travis says, you guys definitely aren't like the other cryptid channels, and that's why I like you guys so much. I think... By now, you know we like you just as much as you like us. Even if, though I forgot your name a second ago while he, reading the screen. <laughs> if you had a podcast, you got fans, buddy. Got a fan. You yep. got fans. Yes, can't wait for to hear from her again. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. Here. I, I I didn't really read the whole thing. It's a lot. It's a much longer email, and I I was running behind. So yeah. 
I just saw where she she dived right into the what she what she was talking about. So what? pretty cool. My wife said, "Great, I have to come pick you up now." In regards to the, the drinking of mead, so I'm just yeah. saying we we acknowledge that like a couple. Just, just <laughs> now she's gonna think I'm yeah I'm, I'm drunk yeah you're that's... making it worse. <laughs> oh my bad. <laughs> that was a that was a, a problem in the stream. That's it was like the if Matrix. you see us drinking more, it's just the stream <laughs> it's just cutting right. up a little bit, and it's just that's all it is. It's, it's just a repeat. Back. It's a repeat. Yeah. So. But. I wanted to – this season had so much to it. Like, the, the beginning, the infancy of this podcast, it started with two dickheads, and it ended it with three dickheads. Yeah. And I want to a have – I want I want to the third. I want to use this time. <laughs> we're a pod of dickheads. We're, we're a pod. <laughs> but – <laughs> yeah, I want to use this season finale to congratulate Gibbs from joining us. I don't and know if that's a congratulations for him. <laughs> if anything, it's bringing him down. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to say like it's awesome that you joined us, and I'm glad that you're actually he was having doing just so, so good before he joined the channel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to have a sincere I know, I'm sorry. I'm thing, sorry. and you're killing it. I'm sorry. No, I'm, I'm, I, I, I love doing this. this. I do. You know, it, it's... <laughs> and I'm, like, it was so funny, too. He, when we finally said, like, hey, Gibbs, we want you on the show. For real. And he came in, guns a blazing. Oh, yeah. He kept, like, every time we'd done, or, like, the first podcast that he was officially on the show, he's like, we need to do this for the show, for our show, for our show. He wasn't that timid person yeah, that he he's, like. Yeah, he was diving in, man. Yeah. And, he, and we were really, like, stoked about uh, yeah. it. We're like, yeah, dude. <laughs> like, awesome. Like, at first, I thought he was going to be, like, so, like, can we do this with your guys' show and nah, this? Yeah. Like, no, he wasn't like that. But we he were just dreading p- that. We were, yeah. like, we were, like, oh, man, you know, I hope it's, like, smooth and I hope he feels welcome, you know, and. Then you kind of came in like, what if we do this? And we're like, this is amazing. Yeah. Like, yes. You know, like, felt like we knew we, we like, we made the right call made the right, yeah, asking we, him, you know, like, yeah. I felt really good about it. Travis says, definitely glad Josh became part of the team. Hell yeah. Hey, Hell thanks, yeah. man. Yeah, we're, we're all glad. We're glad to have Josh with us. And then also, too, you know, if, if I'm actually going to, I'm going to come out and just say this is, uh, it's really cold out there. Mm hmm. And location-wise, Josh kind of saved the show because I think that because of, just because of weather, there would have been a lot longer delays in the recordings and such. Yeah. Josh is like, hey, you know what? It's shitty outside. Come over. Let's do it in the garage. Well, then one weekend became two weekends, and then, <laughs> then he's setting up tables and bringing out meads and stuff, and it's like... I guess we're just here now in Josh's, you know. He was giving us summer sausage. And... <laughs> yeah. We're not supposed to talk about that. Yeah. It was food. Yeah, oh, when yeah. When it's warm out, I, I, I grill a lot. So, <laughs> yeah, it, Clear and it's, it's great doing it here for the Wi-Fi and, <laughs> and the temperature, but there is no phone service. He came in like a wrecking ball. Josh came in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> <laughs> I think you need to hit that high. I, just, I can't hit the highs anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Uh, I want to. I wanted to say a couple big thank yous. To I, okay, for one. So can I start making fun of it while you're doing that? Lee Woods. Ha! That's so funny, Lee. That, See, no, not, when when you do it, it's, it's tragic. <laughs> I'm sorry, but yeah, Lee. Lee Woods, man. First episode out. First episode. I mean. Lee jumps right in, starts just educating us. We're sitting there like, I remember us sitting there. He starts telling us what like his encounters and things. You saw and I remember Bigfoot? Me and you were sitting there looking at each other like, this is awesome. And, and we were so into it, you know, like. And you know what? I'm actually going to disclose this. In that first episode, I disclo- uh, said something along the lines of our cave system. It's over four <laughs> four thousand miles or something. <laughs> it's clearly not. Well, he, <laughs> he's made a joke. He's been making this joke for over a year now. 
Every time Tyler measures anything, I'm like, it's 4,000 yeah, caves yeah. big. Yeah. <laughs> and he, he hates me because of it, but, you know. Yeah. I see. see, I told you, this is not, like, 100% factual. Sometimes it gets lost in translation. It was a slip of the tongue, you know. It was our first episode. It was first episode. We didn't know. It yeah. was just funny because this went on for months. Yes. Like anytime Months. he went to measure or talk about the size of something, I was like, "It's that many caves big." It's four hundred thousand. Four hundred thousand million mind. caves big. Yeah. And he's like, "I hate you so much." <laughs> <laughs> Which, uh, you know, I deserve that. <laughs> it was terrible. <laughs> so yeah. Another shout out to Robert Swan, Swan yeah. Lake, Robert Judd yeah. Swan Lake. <laughs> Why do I keep doing that? We can't do names live. We are well. Terrible. I think you were put, trying to put his actual Robert show at Swan Lake. Yeah, yeah, you were trying to put his show's Swan name Lake as Big his Kid. last name. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Robert Swan is a cool name though. Yeah, that sounds like a gunslinger, like a Robert like a Swan, or like a Sheriff Robert Swan. You guys uh, need to get out of town. <sighs> There's a Bigfoot in them hills. Yeah. You know what I mean? This is Bigfoot country. Robert's been. Killing it over there, yeah. and we're freaking stoked for him. I tried to get him on tonight. He's got way too much stuff going on, so we are gonna aggravate him to hell and back on season two to get on here with us. And uh, I've got some ideas for that. So if you guys, I don't know if you, if you haven't been to his channel yet, Robert has an amazing. It's all he almost has like a Gibbs beard going on. It's almost there, but when you when you see him. He's awesome. Like, we actually had him on video, but we had no way of getting that video onto the episode. But Did now, you? we're a little bit we're a little bit better at this, you know? No, we had him on an episode. You filmed the whole thing. Did I? Yeah, you, you OBS'd it. But I only used the audio. No, we, no, we did the whole thing. Did we really? Yeah. Yeah. Are you we, sure? We just didn't use our, because we couldn't find cameras at oh, the time. Oh, that's right, yeah. So maybe you did see him. But anyway, Robert's awesome. I wanted to shout him out. He's he's doing great and definitely yeah. going to bug the holy his, shit out of him to get back on here. Yeah, his channel has been blowing up this year. So it's good on him, man. Like Absolutely. It's actually like awesome to see that it – I remember he jumped on to the show and he only had like – 75 people subscribed yeah now he's almost he's over 2000 oh yeah he's he jumped so, like yeah crazy. he's killing it man and his his videos too i mean there's there's some stuff yeah. going on where i even uh one of the latest ones he did mm -hmm. the thing that he has in the background like where he's you know trying to show you yeah it actually fits the body style i've been looking for for the male yeah for the male so that's something I want to dive into a lot more in season two. Also, is is the sexual dimorphism between the male and female. I want to go into that big time because I really feel like ninety percent of our hoaxers, or maybe more of them, aren't taking that into account. So that's why you're seeing the same kind of gorilla suit looking Bigfoots over and over again in some of these <laughs> videos. I don't think the males are easy to. I don't think they're easy to you know like catch to see. I think I just like I, I just don't see them as as moving around a lot, mm -hmm. you know. I think they kind of just hang out in a spot. They just chill. You know, they just chill. Speaking of Sasquatches that hang out in a spot, Todd Standing. I talk shit about him too, which I, I didn't mean to, but eh, if it you know if it doesn't blink at all and it doesn't move at all, it's probably not a Bigfoot. That's something I definitely want to dive into more in yeah. season two is peer reviews, whether it's yeah. asked for or not. Yeah. Just start calling some people out on some of the BS. Because there's, there's so much of it. There's, there's one channel right now that I would love to go just start at their very first video and just start destroying them just one by one. And I would love to do that, but... I feel like eventually it would fatigue me and you guys. You know, if yeah. I just constantly am going after this one, I'm right there with you on Todd standing. Yeah, I feel like I feel like people are over it. You know, 
I'm not saying that he never saw anything. You know, I wanted to set the record on that. My personal opinion is, as he probably experienced something in his, you know, in the past, and. I mean, if you're doing this for 20, there's not a lot of money to be made in the Bigfoot thing, right? I've looked into this. It's, you almost do better just going and working for Amazon. There's not a whole lot to make from it. But if you're, you know, if you're doing this for 20 something years, that's like, that's getting into obsession, you know, passion territory. So I feel like he saw something. And he just does what he can to keep it funded and keep it going, you know. So just in case if he can catch, yeah, because finally catch it, dude. Seriously, I mean, like, okay, right now it's cold and it's shitty and it's rainy. You want to go out there and look for Bigfoots with me? I don't, I don't really want to go out there right okay. now. It's, no, it's crappy out there. Okay. It's not nice. Okay, that dude is out there all the time. You know. These guys are out there doing this all the time. And I'm like, okay, there's there's a certain point where it's like, are you just going out there to have fun with the subject? Or are you really obsessed and you're trying to find it? So I, that's where I'm kind of, you know, on, on the whole Todd Standing thing. I'm not saying that I think he's like, you know, a complete like turd or whatever. I'm just saying that I think he saw something once. And he's been trying to catch it again ever since. Yeah. It probably was the one time he didn't have a way of taking a picture of it, because that's usually mm-hmm. how it goes. Yep. Yeah. I mean, there's there's definitely at least one channel that I'd like to go after, but I, I can't remember the name of it. I really can't. I wish I could. Is it CZ TV? Maybe. Yeah. Coming for you, CZ. Yeah. We're All gonna... the the dog man stuff that yeah. they put out, the Bigfoot stuff. It, this is it, inevitable. It, yeah, it's inevitable. We're, Here I mean, comes the red spectrum. It's, at some point, it's it was gonna happen. Yeah, I, I feel like you know. Yeah, and it, the bad part for me is like uh, you know I, I actually, I'm actually a little like uh I'm I don't want to debunk these. Uh, does that make sense? Yeah. And I don't really want to do it, but I feel like I have to. If it's just complete garbage, it needs to be called out so we can just off the table. Right. But it's a bummer because I'm looking for that. I'm looking for that one thing that just stumps me. Yeah. And you know, there's been a few. You know. And I I, I sent you guys the link to the one, uh, the famous uh, mushroom hunter that hears the Bigfoot yell. Oh. I sent you the link to where we discovered where that yell came from, didn't I? The the other channel. I don't know if I can remember. The oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, he discovered it was like an old dinosaur yeah, movie they, from the they, 50s. They took the yeah. It came from a different thing. Yeah, it's yeah. Stuff like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. What about the thinker thunker tree shaking video? There's tree shaking or tree throwing. Yeah, the the tree throwing video is pretty wild, but the tree yeah. shaking one. There's been a few things that have come to light on that one. Uh, we didn't actually touch on the tree shaking video on the season one. Uh, what I discovered was is there's a clip of the tree shaking that's going around all of the cryptid communities, Bigfoot, you know, groups and all that. And all it's showing is this, this tree shaking like crazy. There's another clip that's going around uh, kind of a logging community thing, you know. And it actually has the video zoomed out. And you can see them actually pushing trees down and you can actually see that tree getting pulled out of the ground and then de, you know delimbed and and whatnot so at at first glance it, it's real zoomed in and it shows the tree shaking but the other video shows uh, the, the zoom is this out. the drone video from over top yeah. okay i know the so one you're talking about it's, that's kind of one of them ones yeah, where it's they, tree shaking coming to a state near you kind of like uh yeah the bigfoot that was in every state on every lake yeah what was up with that man that shit <laughs> went viral yeah and that was an old clip like that was years ago, and all of a sudden it just came back around. It's like the uh, what was it the uh, what the hell was the uh, it's like the six million dollar man or something. Remember when he when he like fights Bigfoot? <laughs> Bigfoot <laughs> yeah. fights a bear. Yeah. So somebody took a clip of the bear, like a picture of the bear and the Bigfoot fighting in the mo- in the show, and they just sent it around to all these, you know, and people were like, "Oh my god, yeah, that's the real thing." And I'm like, "Dudes, come on." Like yeah. really? That's from a '70s TV show. That's, that's not real. <laughs> that's you know. That's you know. 
damn, I was hoping that video was lit. Me too, man. That's what I'm saying. It's a bummer, yeah. you know? Travis brings up another thing. Like, there was a couple of things on the show that we thought were really legit. Yeah. And yeah. it got squashed and, the like, nine matters. The 911 call. Yeah, the uh, 911 call. Yep. Yeah. Landis. Landis he, ruined that one for yeah. me. Iowa Bigfoot, where you yeah. and I talked about his penis for uh, an hour and a half. It looked like it was there. I thought it was there. I saw it, and I was just a, a, a person that watched the show. Yeah, we're like, dude, that's a... <laughs> That's a Bigfoot weenus yeah. right there. We I were feel literally. I was the one that discovered that it was a fake. I found the, the links. And animation. The only part of the whole thing that I feel really terrible about is that me and him talked about it for almost two hours. Right. I wish if, I wish we could have discovered that then so we could have just been like, ah, that's not a real Bigfoot yeah. pweedy weedy. Yeah. <laughs> that's not Bigfoot's widget. I'm just... <laughs> It wasn't well, a big I am saying, widget. like, I really do like my <laughs> thumbnail on that one. I, I always thought it was funny. I actually, uh, somebody on a, I think it was the Bigfoot is Dangerous Facebook group. This was actually something behind the scenes that you guys didn't get to hear about. But, hey, it's live, and it's the season finale, so let's <laughs> just spill it all, right? Uh, they were talking about the that same video, the Idaho Bigfoot, and they were sending pictures back and forth, and there was all these comments. And I'm like, oh, wow, we just did a show about this. I'll, I'll send the link over. I sent the link over, and the lady <laughs> that runs that ch- page chewed my ass out. Like, she went, like, zero to 100 on me. She's like, this is disgusting, and you don't need to do blah, 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 and you're sending... You know, blah, 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 about Bigfoot's penis. And I'm like, whoa. There's, there, it's not, you know, I mean, yeah, it's it's kind of about that. But it's it's relevant to what you guys are talking about. Right, I mean. You guys are talking about, like, how hairy he is. I'm saying that, look, there's actual biological parts here that are moving. So it would have it would have been avoidable. Right. We could have just debunked it <laughs> sooner. <laughs> then I posted it on uh I posted that same episode on uh, Reddit, Reddit. Yeah, Reddit. And Reddit, tore Reddit, it up. Reddit tore it up. Yeah. It was a lot of uh, young kids just they, making they wiener, were, wiener jokes. Yeah. I yeah. liked how uh, on the one where I had my son kind of frame by frame, you know, with the Bigfoot throwing the rock, and mm-hmm. we kind of figured out the speed based on each frame and the distance. And uh, I liked how... I, I put a picture, a clip of a gorilla in. Yep. You know, and if you listen to the show, we actually say like, oh, well, yeah, all gorillas throw things like this. So it shows a gorilla for a second, you know, a reference. Some guy, I didn't even watch the video, skipped right to that part and was like, <laughs> you know, that's a gorilla, right? And we're like, <laughs> you got us. Really? <laughs> Oh my we god! Were, we were we were trying to pull one on you, but you know. And then the funny thing is, he comments back. He's like, "Oh, sorry, you guys were just using it as a reference." Yeah, huh. we're like, "Thanks, wow. buddy. Appreciate it." The things you learn when you actually watch it, uh, watch the whole video. Right. What was your favorite comment all year? Do you have one? I have one. I think favorite everybody time. knows mine because I've said it like I've said it twice on the on the channel, and I I'm never gonna I want to get a tattoo of it. Popcorn one. No, that uh, was that was pretty funny, but no. It was when uh, uh, actually it was me and Gibbs were working. We were sitting here talking back and forth about the comparison of the Brittany. Hey, the uh, <laughs> the kangaroo similarity to the dog man, big black claws, ripped, oh, and yeah. an attitude problem. Right? They they have this the grin. Every like, everything the was red matching eyes, up. Everything matched up. Somebody, I can't even remember the name now, gets on the comments of the video and says, Kangaroos loose in the United States. Come on. <laughs> Get real. And I'm like, I remember saying this to you guys. I'm like, that's where we draw the line in the sand? Right. We don't draw the line in the sand at six foot ripped dog man. It's kangaroos is where we're okay. Oh, okay. You know, well, whatever. I mean, I don't want to step on any toes, but. Holy shit. That was my absolute favorite comment of the year. <laughs> and, you know, 
I kind of hope that I, I I often hope that that guy comes back around so he can chime in again about that one because yeah, I was like, there's no way he's serious. Well, and that was was. Was that before I was full blown on? Was that me and you just? Uh, yeah, we were just bullshitting. Yeah, yeah. You, you and I like called each other on Facebook Messenger. Yeah, and we're going over all that, and then you you put the up. Epi- I wasn't even on the show yet. At yeah, that you point. weren't you weren't on yet, but we were we were going back and forth because yeah. I was like enhancing the the it was all yeah. I'm, what was it the it was a Dark Waters video or something where yeah. it goes way back to that guy from Florida. Yeah, what it's, the hell was that guy's name? Uh, I found him. I found him on Facebook. We definitely need to avoid all topics about names. Yeah. We are really bad at names. We are really bad at names. They can be in front of us and we'll still screw them up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't remember, but he was it was like he was walking out back and he's like he's like, What what is that? And it just like runs past and then frame by frame it was like, dude, look at that leg, man. That's a that's a hop. Yeah, it it's like hopping, it. you know. Yeah. Yeah, th- when you showed it in that, fr- like that, like the, that's, <clears throat> I guess you like did some type of inverted, like inver- red spectrum. Yeah, the red spectrum. Uh, well, it was and pink. Then, <laughs> pink. Yeah, it, yeah. it was like pinkish. Yeah. yeah, but it was like street light red. But yeah, he uh, <laughs> seeing that, you can clearly it it looks like it's hopping, and plus you can faintly see a shadow of a tail. And I I was pretty hung up for a while that it was an ostrich yeah i, I was pretty yeah. hung up on that i was like that's an ostrich yeah because with that's what you we know? went with originally and then we started looking at other things that get loose in the states and i started pulling up kangaroos yeah. and you started looking at kangaroos we and- were delivering for amazon and drove past an ostrich farm in indiana yeah remember this there was big ass ostriches just hanging out in this field and we're like huh Ostriches. Ostriches. Okay. I mean, dude, there's a tiger king. There's people that have tigers. Right. There's an ostrich king. There's an ostrich king out there somewhere. And he's hopefully, I mean, I don't know what they're doing with the, like, what do you do with ostriches? Do you eat them? Eggs. Eggs. Oh, my God. Make boots out of them. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, those are nice boots. Dude, could you imagine making an omelet out of an ostrich egg? You could feed the whole family with one egg. <laughs> like, or, like the Flintstones. <laughs> oh, dude, dude. I know this is like way off topic, but I feel like this deserves mention. French toast. With you just cut, break off the top of the ostrich egg and just dip the bread in it. French toast, man. French when your toast? egg's empty, grab another one. That's awesome. Maybe ostriches is where, to, where it needs to be. I don't Maybe. know. That is... I know that people raise like emus and stuff, and then I, I found a thing where it was talking about. Uh, We're doing pretty good, Brittany. Thank you. Yeah, it's awesome. Wow, your phone's faster than mine. Way faster. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, there's people that raise uh, emus and stuff, and those things get like really aggressive. And then I found an article about people who had kangaroos as pets and turned them loose. Yeah. And now there's like a population of them. Yeah, there's a word for it too, isn't it? It's um errant, errant kangaroos. Errant kangaroos, yeah. yeah. And I kept calling it aberrant kangaroos <laughs> for a while, like they were mutated or something. <laughs> we used to have emus when I was growing up. There you go. Uh, they're not kangaroos. No, they're not. No. But they are close to an ostrich. I had a guy tell me one time the llamas laid eggs. Okay, I guess you guys didn't understand what I was saying there. What? Oh, not, not kangaroos. Not kangaroos. <laughs> oh. Like a not deer. Ugh. That whole not deer thing ugh, it still gets me. There's just, yeah. <laughs> Help me, Tyler. Help me. I'm a, yeah, but it does my day. <laughs> I'm a not deer. They are huge, too. I know. It's like, it's like raising dinosaurs. There was an ostrich farm... Maybe two miles from here. Okay. Up around the corner. The cow man got you that night. So imagine. (laughs) Right. (laughs) You're watching TV. And you look out your window and there's a freaking ostrich staring at you. (laughs) Right. (laughs) And then it goes, help me, (laughs) God. Okay, if it's speaking. Be a nostrich. A (laughs) nostrich. A nostrich. (laughs) You heard that here first, folks. (laughs) Nostrich. (laughs) <laughs> Flamingo farms Those are a weird bird Yeah 
I don't understand. Why does it stand on one leg for a while? I don't know. I think it's, I always, I know this is dumb, but when I was a kid growing up, I used to think that the one leg thing was because its foot was numb. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know how, like, you're like, oh, my foot's numb, and you're like, oh, oh, and you're like, you know? Would you I kept stand thinking, on your one foot for hours? I'm, you know, this is kind of probably a terrible time to admit this, but my wallet makes my butt cheeks go numb sometimes. My, yeah. my right butt cheek That's goes numb. my... That's pretty Mine common. is right now. That's pretty common? That's pretty common. I was pretty embarrassed to admit that for a second, but now I feel feel a lot better about it. I feel like I have like an indention in my right butt cheek because <laughs> of my wallet. <laughs> what about the screenshot I sent you of the video with the, with the name Cowman in it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, Cowman needs to be a t-shirt. Yeah. We need to get t-shirts. Uh, the Pluto, we stand with Pluto. Never, never going to leave Pluto behind. Oh, yeah. I don't care what the freaking scientists say. And me, like, I know you've been t- uh, talking about it a while. I think this is going to happen for season two. We might be doing some type of membership yeah, kind of thing. I've been wanting to work on that. I just So we're know. going to be working on that, too, to see if you guys just want to support the channel and maybe get some early access to certain things. Yeah. And I know uh, we're going to try to work on, like, a special T-shirt, like the Cage Rattler T-shirt yeah. for the one of the bigger, like, high tier. Oh, yeah, definitely. You get a T-shirt for that. Yeah. <clears throat> Where is it? Where is it they call Bigfoot El Nasty? <laughs> I was trying to figure that one out, too. I'm like, I have no idea where they... Where El Nasty. That's a cool name, though. You would think it would be, like, American Southwest somewhere. That's, like, you should actually name your El Camino El, El Nasty. Nasty. <laughs> El Nasty. That's cool. Nice. And there's some weird names all over the country for some of these things. Like Wood yeah. Booger? Wood Booger is a yeah. good one. Yeah, Skunk Ape. You know what? I, every time I hear wood booger, I just think of like a really good chainsaw. Yeah. <laughs> right. Wood. Like, let me go grab my wood booger and we'll take that tree down. <laughs> we'll take you know that what I mean? tree down right. in like two seconds. <laughs> yeah. Get the two cycle. I, I like. Wood I booger. still like skunk ape though. Yeah. Skunk ape's a good one. Cause like to me that one's more like okay, okay that one makes sense. What was okay? Uh, and all the cryptids that we talked about, what's the weirdest name? Of the I think we all agree on. Uh, Wampus Cat. The Wampus Cat, yeah. yeah. That's a weird name. Like, I, cause I feel like just because we were saying Catty Wampus. Oh, yeah. Catty Wampus all it's the time. A, yeah. I think we did it several times. Oh, yeah. That. We yeah. definitely did. Yeah. Do you so, think that's where it came from? I, th- I do think it. I, I'd say it's definitely a tie. There because you got to be, think about uh, it. That cat, like, it has six legs, right? Yeah. <clears throat> and if something's, like, like, off, like, we always, like, we always said it when we were making knives. Like if it like had like a weird thing or somebody <laughs> measured something wrong and it's like slanted, that's cattywampus because yeah. it doesn't look right. Well, you can get you can get cattywampus in a vehicle too, and that's when it's you know you're drifting sideways, like yeah. in a parking lot or in a mud bog or something. Yeah, hmm. mud bog. There has to be some I connection just, yeah, to it. I just my brain can't. I just don't understand why they out. switch. Like why. I don't know. Why did they put the cat in front of? <laughs> Maybe they were like looking at something, like they were working on a house, and it was off level, and they were like, "Man, that's Wampus Cat." And they were like, "Where?" He's like, "Oh yeah, sorry, hey, that's not what I meant." That's Caddy. That's Caddy Wampus. Okay. And they were like, "Oh, Thank you. I thought you were. T- <laughs> I thought we were about to die." I thought like, you were talking about yeah. <laughs> Definitely need to find a graphic designer to get some different shirt ideas we can vote on. That's a good idea. That's not a bad idea at Throw all. Throw it out there. Yeah. Let let the let the peoples, let the peoples, let the peoples decide. Oh yeah, I like and that. If it doesn't go with uh, the Pluto, I'll just go in and, and sabotage <laughs> the boat. Just put a bot on it. Bring the bots. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> we got 1,400 subscribers. We got 3,000 votes for Pluto. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. That's weird. It's weird. Maybe Biden came in and. Brought some supporters to help or something. I don't know. Hey, this That's is, a bad joke. This I'm question's sorry. for Gibbs. <laughs> it took so long to get here. Oh, my bad. You got to put more more stamps on that. <laughs> what are we drinking? We are drinking um, 
my hint of blackberry mead that I brew. Hob. Old Hob. Old Hob. I love how you got like all distinguished there. Yeah. We are drinking. My hint of blackberry. It was because I was running out of breath because I've been sick for a week. <laughs> I wish I was really that <laughs> I don't know why, like, when... <laughs> It's for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, popcorn lung. <laughs> Don't be making fun of my cat. <laughs> Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> that's freaking awesome. Oh, that's hilarious. They're saying, Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> Let's go, Brandon. It's delicious. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it is really good. I, I mean, I'm kind of tooting my own meat horn here on that one, but it's... See where we're born, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's it's really it's really good. You didn't see that the Let's Go Brandon thing? What's that? It was, <laughs> I know you know what I'm talking I about. I know right? you know about yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm telling. laughs> I mean, I, yeah, it basically, <laughs> it's freaking great. <laughs> so, a guy named Brandon NASCAR driver wins a race. Yeah. And there's a reporter interviewing him, and yeah. the entire entire racetrack is screaming F Joe Biden yeah. and the reporter's like they're yelling let's go Brandon for you buddy <laughs> that's how it all started oh okay <laughs> ooh that last one sounded like she went out of tune ooh she did I'm is. sorry, I'm not on the interwebs that much. <laughs> it's true. He's in our group chat, and he only responds about every... Because oh, the say? conversation Four resolves hours? itself before I even get in there. <laughs> yeah. You guys, like, type, like, super fast. <laughs> I, I I don't... I'm not C savvy. Sometimes I use my speech, uh, speech to text, and sometimes that doesn't even freaking write... Right. Type right. Uh, okay. Right. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Sometimes uh, it's funny to me when <laughs> it goes on for a minute. I'm used to it because I know you're doing shit, and you usually get back when you get back. Yeah, but it's funny to me because he's not yet, <laughs> and I love it when it goes on for a little bit, and then he calls you out on it, and I'm sitting there like, because <laughs> 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 he's like Tyler hasn't even responded, <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, he sucks. <laughs> Yeah, he sucks. <laughs> we have a lot of fun though. We have a lot. I've I've had a really good time doing this podcast. Yeah, and I can't wait to get into season two. Oh, we got we got one little spoiler too that that's because we were talking about El Nasty apparently. El um, Nasty. We do have the requested walk around description video. Yep. Of the El Camino. Yep, it will be up soon. It will probably be in the... Because you guys know that uh, this recording is Monday's <clears throat> episode. It is the last one for this year. So there's going to be a couple YouTube videos that will pop up uh, in between now and our... Well, we'll I'm sure we're going to announce the start of Season 2. But uh, in place of the midweeks, you'll see the walk-around video. And um, I'm going to go through and cut some highlights from season one together and, and put out a couple, you know, episodes, just kind of mm -hmm. some favorites, you know what I mean? Fan favorites and stuff like that to to carry us over into season two. And then season two, uh, I'm sure once we've like settled on when, because we got the holidays coming, uh, we got Christmas coming, New Year's is coming, things are going to get a little bit crazy and then. You know, as we progress out of Christmas time and back into normal, ordinary time, then I feel like we'll have a better idea of when we can put an announcement out for season two start date and yep. get in here and get to work. You know? Yeah. So hopefully that, that keeps you guys kind of uh tied over. We don't wanna we don't wanna leave you hanging too long, but you know we've uh, we've worked our butts off to to do this this year. I mean, it's been <coughs> It's been a lot of, and then there's been a couple nights where we were literally stressed. We stressed ourselves out, but yeah. we got here and we're like, oh man, because we're like, we don't want to make a show or an episode for you guys if it's if there's nothing substantial to it. Yeah, if except for maybe this one because it's just like this the, one's yeah. This is kind of just a wind down, you know. 
I feel like this one's more of a cele- celebration. Yeah, you know, I agree. But yeah, it's yeah, it's exactly it, Brittany. It's a couple of little appetizer videos, just something to to wet the palate a little bit. You know, wet the beak. Yeah, just it, it's kind of going you know. to. <laughs> Yeah, we. Well, there was one more thing I know we we want to do here eventually. Is uh, I know uh, I don't know how much longer you guys want to keep going with this. I know our recording for for Monday's episode is probably getting there, but uh, at some point, whenever we have a little something we want to play for you guys. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but all the music on the podcast is all original stuff. Most of the time, uh, it, it's it's kind of a convenience thing more than anything. It's that, uh, I mean, we're all musicians, and, you know, we're, we're not rich, and it's hard to get copyright on music for a podcast. <laughs> so what do you do when you're a bunch of musicians? You know, you put music together. So uh, everything from the intro music to some of the weirder music that you hear during some of the episodes and uh, the outro stuff. All original music, and I don't know, uh, it just worked. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, sometimes it just works, you know? I, it was cool. Like, uh, One Piece was, uh, uh, what was it called? Noble Beast, mm-hmm. which I, there's no way for me to put the names of them on the episodes, but I actually got a lot of comments from from in messages from yeah. people saying, like, dude, I really like that outro. Yeah, I've, I've heard it from fans like, as well. Wow, really? You know, like, that's... Really cool. Yeah. Noble Beast yeah. was, uh, I don't know what the last episode that it was in. I can't remember what, what episode I, I put it in last, but uh, Noble Beast was written um, about two days after the best dog in the world I ever had passed away. He was an Alaskan Malamute, big, big fella, raised him from a puppy. He passed away, and I sat there, and I just started playing this song, and... It just kind of just, I just droned it, you know, and now it's like I, every time I play it, I think about him, but for me, it's kind of cool because it's got a really cool, you know, vibe to it that, you know, I really like the Midweek Mysteries intro music. Do you like that? I've been wondering about that because I thought it was kind of... Is that the bone? Yeah, the bone? Yeah. Yeah. That one's... uh. I know, I, I'm sure it'll have a different name one day, but it's supposed to be called uh, Where You Find My Bones. So, yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty wild. Brittany says, I've enjoyed it. Y'all have some interesting conversations. I was just hoping that we didn't, you know, make you guys dumber <laughs> <laughs> for watching us. You know what I mean? Because right. I know sometimes we get into it. Like, we get into it. You know? But yeah, what do you guys think? You want to you want to play Valhalla for these guys one time and then tell them good night? I'm gonna have to change positions because I, I have my mic. Well, what do you guys? You guys want to hear one before we say good night? You let us know. Tell us. Or I was worried about you all during the storms last. Yeah, it yeah. was. It was close. Yeah, it was. Unfortunately, the. Um, the town of Mayfield, Kentucky, was uh, damn near destroyed, yeah. and there's still missing people. Uh, definitely, you know, sending prayers and, and our hearts go out to them. And uh, just at work this last week, they, you know, there's some talk going around about sending some aid down there, and mm-hmm. I, I went ahead and put my name on it that if if they need an extra set of hands, I'll go and I'll help out. But it's like. Yeah, I mean, there's people that are literally their homes are gone. I thought, man, you know. But your your work will allow you to go. Yeah, they they sent a lot of drivers uh, to a couple different things. I, like, that, uh, I feel like that's the that, that's the that's the bad thing. Like everybody would like to show a helping hand, but uh, like a business like that will allow you to miss some work days to go help. That's well, it's it's considered a work day because I, no, I get you, but it, it's just like Dasani's and drinks. They're just going around to the different. I, that's shelters, what I'm, but that's know? what I'm kind of saying is, is that they would give you like, you're able to do that. And it's not like missing. Yeah. You, it's not like, cause yeah, well, nothing's certain yet though. It, but yeah, I there's, get you. there's a distribution plant down there and they have drivers. So it's one of them things where it might be, you know, it might be 
taken care of. So if, if not, then, you know, there's a few of us, you know, that decided that we would lend a hand if we can, you know. Right. All right, so we got a few people that want to hear some. Uh, did you hear about the candy factory in Kentucky that threatened to fire their employees that tried to leave? Yes. I did hear about there's that. There's a lawsuit. Shame on them. Yes. It's terrible. I heard somewhere that uh, an Amazon building came down. Yeah. Yep. And uh, trapped a bunch of people in it. I don't know. I'd never yeah. heard anything else. Like if they got out or, if, you know. Yeah, I think Landis actually told me that one. Jesus. Yeah, it was terrible. Those storms were horrendous. You know. You yeah. guys want to record this too? Or you, so should I even put the mic on it? Yeah, go go ahead. I mean, it, it'll pick up, but... Oh, yeah, that'll pick up know. for sure. You think they'll hear it on your phone? On the phone, it's going to be a little different. That's going to be a lot louder than these are. Yeah, yeah, play a little softer and we'll be yeah. all right. Okay. So... If it's if the mix is bad on the phone audio, then Monday morning you'll have a better mix of it coming in. And to be fair, we've had about three seconds to practice this. Yeah, it's gonna be rough. <laughs> <laughs> that feels weird without Catherine introing it. <laughs> you are listening. I can try. All right, do your best, Catherine impersonation. You are now listening to the Kentucky (laughs) X-Files. That was pretty good. That's not bad. (laughs) With your host. She's going to be like... Dennis Mays. Tyler Stewart. Stewart. And Josh Gibbs. (laughs) Now, on to the show. (laughs) She's going to come at you, man. Like, you're coming in on her territory. That's copyrighted material. (laughs) We paid for it. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully she doesn't ever watch this because if I'm pretty sure she's gonna put a hit on Tyler. <laughs> She'll be like, "Man." <laughs> All right.
guys. We appreciate it. And uh, everybody who's listening to this episode, uh, hopefully you enjoyed it too. Thank you for sticking with us for this first year. And uh, thank you for making our little podcast into something bigger, you know. Way bigger than I actually thought it was going to be. Absolutely. Like, if anything, I think it would have took a lot longer than what it it grew to be to like this year. Yeah. So much love going out to you guys because it's it, like you said, like we're just just bullshitting and talking, and but everybody is having such a positive reaction to our conversation, and I really feel like it's awesome to help out people that's having a tough time to figure out what they saw or Absolutely. what they heard. So I'm glad that we can at least help in some way. So Absolutely. I'm glad that you guys are here, and I can't, I can't wait for season two and the seasons to come, too. Yeah. Yeah. Season two and beyond. And beyond. <laughs> Just like, uh, what was that guy? Uh, I can't remember his name now. Buzz Lightyear? No, no, no. Oh. The, guy, the guy that sent us the message on Anchor. Oh, uh, oh God. Here we are with names again. Name. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said something. It was it was awesome guy. <laughs> yeah. Total awesome guy. Awesome guy. guy. Oh, God. This is terrible. Yeah, he, so embarrassing. He believes that we're going to be in season, tw- uh, go to season 25 and beyond. That so, guy's got a lot of faith. Yeah, because that's going to put faith. us in our 60s. Yeah. Oh, man. I'll be only 50. Well, I tell you what, guys, I don't got nothing else. You got anything else? No, man. Thanks for being a part of our band of misfits. That's Absolutely. Sure. So you guys have a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year. Take care of each other, and we'll see you on season two. Marinero. I knew you were going to say it. I was waiting for it. Marinero. <laughs>